So I was looking around online for somewhere to go the other day, and uh, I found a zoo. It was like an Austin zoo, and uh, I had to go check it out. So I went to the zoo, and it turns out they had like no animals. They had one animal, and it was a dog. It turns out it was a shit zoo. <laughs> about this bike. Everyone knows that I hate this bike and everything has gone wrong with it, but what do I like about it? It's fast. It is fast as balls and it's gorgeous. It's very gorgeous. Uh, what else? What do I like about this bike? It's red. Uh, I like red. The brakes are good. Uh, what else? And you know, since it's a leader bike, it ups my social status, so I got that going for me, which is okay. I cannot see it. Damn thing behind me. I have this other problem. Uh, many of you may not know this. I actually wear glasses. I do. I wear glasses. Friends that I've been friends with forever sometimes forget that I wear glasses because I normally wear contact lenses. But for the last few days, I've been wearing my contact lenses just because, I don't know, my allergies have been acting up or something and I just feel like wearing my glasses. But it kind of throws off your, your depth perception. The things don't seem quite right and turning around to look behind you in a helmet, every time I do it, my glasses come forward off my face a little bit, and it's highly annoying. Hashtag glasses problem. I have like these, I got these kind of, like these are gonna have to last forever because I don't like buying frames. Because I don't know, like the insurance I had at the time did not have a really good deal when it came to frames. So I got some like real thick ones, so I look like a damn hipster. Uh, we're gonna get some oil for the CBR. It was the CBR's turn for attention. Turns out it was just the battery that had gone bad. The cycle gear was being stupid and I didn't wanna, didn't wanna replace their limited, unlimited lifetime warranty. Apparently it's very limited. So we're gonna let that sucker sit in the garage for a while until it's completely dead and then we get a free battery. So I just went out and bought a new one for the meetup. Screw it, I have to have that bike running. And somehow, the R1 and the CBR have the exact same battery. So, I mean, this one is fine on the R1, but after the issues it just had, I, I can imagine its life is is limited. So, you know, by the time this one goes, I'll probably be able to get the ultimate or lifetime replacement one done and get myself a free battery at some point. Thanks, Cycle Gear. I don't like how this bike is real quiet. Compared to the a lot of other bikes, this thing is not. This is actually my quietest bike that I own. She's eating a sandwich. I want a sandwich. Girl, don't make me a sandwich. That doesn't work. Every time I do that, my wife kicks me in the balls. So I've learned to flinch whenever I say make me a sandwich. Why well, are you a stupid bitch? I had no idea that lane was ending, even though I told you like a million times. You know what I should do? I've always wanted to kind of start my own business and be like independent of my own money. I should start a motorcycle parts store. There is like a huge lack in parts stores for motorcycles. And uh, I've noticed the popularity of motorcycles increasing. But there's not a lot of places to go. Like for cars, you can go to O'Reilly's, AutoZone, Advance. There's like a freaking car parts store at every corner. But when you got a motorcycle, you gotta go online or cycle gear or the dealer. And that's your options. So I wanna start like an O'Reilly's version of, or an AutoZone version of motorcycle parts. That would be cool. Just a straight up competitor with cycle gear. This entire Austin area, there's like three, maybe four places where you can go buy motorcycle parts for any motorcycle. Most of it is like motorcycle specific, which doesn't help if you don't have that specific motorcycle, such as KTM. But if you need like, parts, like say I need a stator or something for my CBR or any of my bikes, I can't, the one store that might have it, it's like a 50-50 shot that it'll have it, otherwise I gotta go online. Oh, well, looky here, you have a friend to play with. Dude, that's cool, he's got a tow hitch on the back of his Harley. What would you tow with a motorcycle, just a giant luggage bag? Your wife? It feels so weird, it used to be down here all the time, like, if you look at my previous vlogs before I got this new job, like, Every vlog or every other vlog was right here, right in this area. This is like a throwback almost. And it was like around the same time. Lunch time, I'd head back home to the house with the dogs out. And now it's the opposite. I go back home because I already went to lunch. I gotta figure out how far off the Speedo is. I know, I know, I can get a Speedo healer. I got one on the CBR. I know how they work. But I need to figure out how fast I actually am going. I need to find a, a Honda. You know, the ones that have the 
big numbers up in the dash. You can see it from like a million miles away. Pull next to one of those and clock my speed. You can't explain the power of this thing. You have to actually ride it. If you've ridden a leader bike, you know what I'm talking about. It's just quite effortless. Like right now, it's it's not even hardly working. It's just cruising along, 5,500 RPM on the toll road. Not speeding, not going too slow, just totally comfortable. And then all of a sudden, without shifting, nothing, just crank the throttle and crack, there it goes. How long does it take to go from 80, 80 to 90? Let's see, so let's go down to 80. And then crack, 90. Jeez. And it probably got there faster than the Speedo could keep up with it. Ruck trucks suck. Those things really do blow chunks. When you're behind them, they just start pummeling you with debris. It's awful. That idiot, she wanted to merge onto the tow road. So she hit her brakes and started turning, like she was turning like left out of a parking lot. Moron, moron. Every time I get on here, I feel like I'm relearning a, a new bike. You know what I'm talking about. It works the same way with cars. Like you're relearning how everything feels. And it's like I've relearned this bike like four times now. Oh. And then I get off, I get used to this, and then I forget another bike, and then I get on the WR, and it's like even more foreign. And then I get used to that, and then I get used to that, and I'm like, yeah, I like it. And then I get on the CBR, and I'm like, oh, this is weird. It's so strange how that works. Why does that happen? Like, why is that mentally a thing with humans? I don't get it. Or is it just me? Am I crazy? It could very well be the case that I am clinically nuts. Oh, I forgot to get food. Shit, where am I gonna get food? I'm hungry, hungry hippos. There's food down here. Let's get something to eat over here. Oh no, fuck that. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna make me some hamburger helper. Oh yeah, nothing like a nice warm shit for lunch. Give you, give you the poops real quick. Well, the meetup is in only a couple days. It is coming upon us real fast, and it looks like there's gonna be rain beforehand. That's gonna happen, uh, probably not the day of. I think we're okay there. But either way, I am looking forward to it. I'm excited. I think next year we should probably have it a little bit earlier because this anticipation is killing me. I'm just really excited for this meetup. I can't wait to go. Oh, the dog didn't care. Usually it's the fat wiener dogs that love to chase the motorcycles. <laughs> the fat wieners love the motorcycles. <laughs> Whoa!